In an effort to push the boundaries of science, the University of Pretoria and the CSIR combined their efforts. It looks like he's in his happy place. The goal of the sampling trip was to collect water from pristine and impacted waterways in order to perform microbiome and water quality related research. Ramodikwe Dam was completed in 1984 with further upgrades in 2006 bringing the total capacity of the dam to 3.4 million cubic meters. The dam is fed by rainwater draining from the Volkberg mountains, particularly from the eastern slopes of this spectacular mountain range that is part of the Drakensberg series. Due to the unspoiled nature of the catchment area, the dam is blessed with clean, clear, cool mountain waters. Water flows from this dam's outlet in an eastward direction, with this waterway being called Tapina River. Not far from the dam, the Tabina River flows through the Batlabine community, passing by several other informal and semi-formalized settlements to ultimately find its way into Mozambique via the Kruger National Park. Three sites were sampled within the Tabina River. Firstly, an upstream site that is close to Ramudiko Dam. This site is to act as a reference site where we expect clean water. An additional two sites we sample the downstream of that in order to investigate the effects of pollution. Three sites were also sampled in the Letsiteli River. The first site was to act as a reference site where we expect the water to be clean. And then we follow the stream as it flows through the community, trying to see how the impacts and the pollution increases. It is actually sampling. 